Right, we're here with One Punch Brad Pickett to talk about the, the, the new UFC game, Undisputed 3. Obviously you're in it. How, how does that feel for you to be in a game? Being a massive game myself, it's like, I now feel I've actually made it in the sport. Being in my own computer game, which is just awesome. It saves timeless hours of trying to make a character that looks semi like you, but never does. You make yourself a look better, really better looking than you really are. Now they've got me for my beaten up looking rugged self. <laughs> How do you think you look? Have they, have they got it spot on? Well, if I said yes, I'd be yeah, very yeah. bad, but no, I think they've been a little bit harsh. No, no, it wasn't too bad, but quite accurate, you know, really, really bad stuff I have, you know. You obviously just had one fight in the UFC, which, uh, in front of your home crowd, sadly, obviously, it didn't end the way you wanted it to. Yeah. But you, you've, had, you've been in the WEC, you've done loads of stuff, you've, yeah. you've got plenty. So, how, how does it feel to, to finally be in the UFC and be on a title card in the UFC? Um, it's brilliant, you know, and obviously, being in the WEC, I was fighting the best... So type of uh, caliber fighters is exactly the same. Because being in the WC was the best fighters in the world for that weight class. Mm -hmm. Now they merged with the UFCs and the UFC took on those weight classes. So as for the level of competitions, it's exactly the same. But level of exposure is so much bigger. You know, you you get you know put no not so much on, on the days as well. Because uh, when I fought. Uh, for the uh, WC45, I think it was, no, WC48 with Aldo versus Faber card. There's like 12 people, 12,000 or 12 people. So, <laughs> 12 people in the yeah, crowd. Massive. It was in the living room. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, I uh, had like 12,000 people there uh, on Karina. So it's quite the same as the UFC had. Obviously, they had bigger ones as well, but I thought K1 Dynamite back in the day had like 25, 30,000 people there. So there was a lot of people. Me, I got, uh, you know, went out there and I got caught. It's a very un un unforgiven sport, you know. You make a mistake, you get caught. Bro, I was a very talented, good fighter, and, you know, and the best man one of the night. And, but the sport, the sports, uh, what it's like is, you know, very unforgiven. So obviously, you're coming from someone who, who never will be a fighter. I'm not feel like sure. a fighter. Well, I don't know. I've got good knees, apparently. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm not too, not too sure I could ever do your job. But um, well, what would you do like the d day after? a fight when it hasn't gone the right way like what's the first thing that goes through your mind that you wake up wherever it may be in a hotel room and you're kind of like oh man I got something this happened that happened just, I'm bruised here bruised just, there yeah it could go two ways one you could dwell dwell on it and just like just, just be really down or two you just be like okay give, give yourself a bit, bit of the butt and go okay right no right, something, something can give you a drive it depends you, uh, you as a person or the people around you what they get out of you, you know. Yeah. So if you, it's up to you. If you just want to go sit and sulk in a corner, and and you've got people around you let you do that, that's what you're gonna do. Man. But if you've got good people around you, who go, come on, it's not the end of the world. Get on with it. You know, it's part of the job. I mean, it's not like it's, this is this sport's not like boxing. Yeah. You don't have unbeaten champions. Mm. It's like you know people like Prince and Azim have 36 fights, wins 36 fights, loses one, then retires. Yeah. Like so what would you say are there any video games that chill you out when, when you, you get off of a fight did you ever sit down yeah I play a lot of video games I, 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 me personally I, I, I play a lot of MMOs you know so oh, like World of Warcraft been playing that for seven years recently just got into uh, uh, the Old Republic yeah you know, I've been playing that a little bit now you know quite like that you know I'm a bounty hunter called Starscream oh you know. That's yeah. pretty cool. So, w yeah. what sort of character were you in in World of Warcraft? Uh, uh, my main character. I'm, I've played it for seven years. You played a lot of characters, yeah. but my main character was a, a, an orc death knight called Crimson, uh, Crimson Death. It's awesome. So, are there a lot, a lot of your fellow MMA colleagues, do you play games together uh, or not there's, really? There's a few. As in, uh, quite a big gamer that's quite an known. There's James Pulver, you know, in America. He, he's a massive gamer as well. He, we've had many, like, geeky chats, you know. <laughs> it's quite, hey, quite good. There's a lot of people like think, whoa, you know, you don't, don't expect, you know, I'm like... Don't expect you to be yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a level 12 goblin or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, people don't understand it, but we, we as fighters actually do have a lot of time on our hands, you know, uh, in between... In between, and people say to me, "Oh, if you spend them, because actually you do, you know, you play World of Warcraft before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did four slash play. It tells you many yeah. days. I mean, I, I'm like, a, it, sometimes it gets embarrassing. You're yeah, kind of yeah, like, yeah. oh man, I, I should have done like, something. If I had all my cards together, I might play for like, like 270 days. 
in front of my computer playing this game. That's it's, absolutely amazing. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So like a lot of people say to you, if you spent as much time in fighting that you did playing World of Warcraft, you would have been world champion by now. But then what I say is that it's not like that. I I never let the games get yeah, bored. Yeah, overtake. Yeah, overtake my training. I just train, and then when you after training you need to relax, and then when I relax, and that's my that's my relax. You know, I, you know, I, I, some some other people uh, athletes go out partying. You know, I just sit at home playing with people. Would you ever want it to be if you if you magically could if you had that one wish and you could kind of walk into the heavyweight class? Would it? Of course. You'd, you'd I think enjoy I'd be that. one of the best fighters in the world at heavyweight. Oh, okay, I've yeah. heard. Reason reason you say that is when you're a really big guy, you don't rely on technique as much because you're the biggest guy in the gym. You yeah. can just pick people up and throw them around. Where when you're a small guy like us, you have to lose a lot more technique and get become a lot more technical fighter to, to, to overcome. The, your opponents where if you're the biggest guy in the gym you're rolling around with smaller guys and it's just like oh get off and, you know, that's not that's not the technique to get someone off you have to use a lot more technique than that but they get away with a lot of bad stuff you know don't get me wrong there's a lot of tech, real good you know technical fighters at any way but uh, same in, in boxing uh, the more technical fighters you watch are the Manny, Owls versus, uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Mayweather much more technical boxing than someone like a Klitschko versus Hey, yeah. Know? So uh, I, I believe we're, we're better athlete, athletes because we have to be. At least, at least, you don't you know blame your toe if you if you lose. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Um, Thank you. I will continue fighting with you on UFC three with a passion, and we'll, we'll get to a championship uh, I'll have, for you. Uh, I want some weekly updates and reports from your on your fighting career. Excellent. I'll let you know. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Oh, oh knockout me. victory! It is all over! Wow. Joe, that's spectacular right there.